I'm gonna get ready in three seconds. One, two, three. There we go, I'm ready. Now we're off to go to shop in to get some clothes for myself and for Darren. Maybe, maybe, maybe if my husband's nice to me then I could get him some stuff as well. So I'm so excited. By the way, sorry for yesterday because I wasn't able to upload a vlog. Um, just wanted a day off. It's all new for me. So I've done seven days of vlogging and I just wanted to have that single day for myself and my family. So I didn't want to um, film anything but here I am back again and um, it's going to be a very busy day today I don't know how much I can film but we'll see how it goes and I'll take you to the shopping centre now hey I've come to the shopping centre here we are up the elevator now uh oh crap so what do we do now let me do it. Hold it. Hey, I'm just breastfeeding at a fitting room. I was breastfeeding at a um, new look fitting room, and now I'm in next fitting room feeding him. I haven't fed him decently. Well, I mean decently, I mean like sitting comfortably and making him feed as much as he wants because I didn't do that, so every chance I get, I just go into a fitting room and try and feed him like, you know, as much as he wants, like five, ten minutes, until my mum's trying on some clothes. And that way, he doesn't cry while we're shopping. And also, because I'm working today, I'm going to two jobs, so I'll be away from him for five hours. I've stored two sets of, um, 110 mils of milk for him to have while I'm away. I feel bad for him and myself because I'll be without him tonight. But yeah, shop is going really good. I've bought myself a lot of clothes, which I'll be doing a haul with. And um, I'm so excited to put them on because I've had enough of wearing leggings and just vest tops. So we'll see how they look on me, right? Say hello people, me and mum here. We're at shopping and I'm still sleepy because I have a sleepy head. I'm a big sleepy head. You had some mama, you had some yum yum, but you didn't burp. And if I put you down to your crib now, you'll poop it out. in the car park and we can't find the car i hate car parks like this i mean how would you find your car in a car park like this i don't know where my car is this is a joke once again i'm going to be late to his appointment i'm always late for these appointments seriously i'm a bad mama <laughs> look at those two behind me <laughs> oh my god apparently there's a machine and you put your number plate and then it will tell you where your car is so i'm going to try and find that machine it's because i can't find my car and i've got this like key keep pressing to see if the the light's flashing on but 
Nope. Oh my god. See? Flashing. Where is it? There you go, it worked. I found my car by flashing the key. That's alright, it wasn't too long, it was just about 10 minutes. Babe, look what I got for you. I hope you like it. Hello, buddy. This is my cousin. She's so pretty. <laughs> and that's her friend. She's very funny. <laughs> this is the dress that I once wore when I was four and a half months pregnant for my brother's wedding. <laughs> and my cousin is now trying it on because she wants to wear it for her cousin's wedding. It's very beautiful. How do you guys think that looks? Pretty. The only thing is, turn around, there's this little like lump here. <laughs> we don't know what to do with that. It doesn't look yeah. that bad on camera. No one will see it. It looks yeah. like... We'll just pretend that that's not there. <laughs> when you're dancing, just make sure that somebody's dancing like this. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a really nice dress and I think I bought it from um, Debenhams. How much was it? 90 pounds or something? It wasn't even that expensive. By the way, um, the last video, I think it was me giving pres um, presents me giving Sarah had some clothes that I bought for him and my battery died so sorry guys you didn't see all the tops that I bought for him this is the first outfit that she's trying on in three we'll see her in the other outfit one two three have a look at this how does that look? It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, and look at that. Ooh, <laughs> that's nice. Her daddy's not gonna like that now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the other outfit that I, again, wore at my best friend's wedding while I was, again, four and a half months pregnant because my brother and my best friend married at the same week, just like two days apart from each other. Yes, we have the wedding next week, Wednesday, so if you could comment which one you think that she should wear, then I'll let her know and she can wear that one. By the way, how does my hair look? Because, like, I went to work and I just, like, plaited my hair because I was bored. Look, look at the way it looks, wasn't it? Can you actually... Like, I'm like... <laughs> Did you do it yourself? Yeah. So, you know when you're just teaching and I'm just, like, plaiting? Yeah, I, I can't... How can you do that yourself? It looks... Mm, yeah, so like maybe That's like nice. leave that part out and dangling and leave like bits out here and bits there and nice. here a bit, there yeah. a bit, messy everywhere hair. a bit, like like that and <laughs> like there you go and that's the messy hair bun. Say bye girls. Bye. Oh, look at that. Somebody's getting ready to go. Somebody's getting ready to say bye. Bye London. She's going to go. Typical Turkish person, when they come to London and they go back to Turkey, they have to, have to take PG tea bags for sure. And you have to take Coffee Mate as well. Definitely chocolates, Coffee Mate, and PG tea bags. My husband smoking, naughty person, naughty, naughty, naughty smoking. He left the window open and we had all these nasty flies in the bedroom. So now my little baby needs to sleep with my mum again because we had so much flies in the room. I don't trust our room no more. Don't want him to be bitten by stupid flies and insects. Yeah, I won't think because he was sleeping in that room here. There's like hundreds of them. Well, it's your fault, babe. I think I've been bitten at these five times. Yeah, so have I. Look at this. Yeah. I got bitten twice. Why would you leave the window open and the light turned on when you know that we have those stupid flies that come in? And I still have that look on my face. Yes, I'm still looking like that. Why? Like, my baby's been sleeping with my mum already two nights in a row, and now today's going to be the third night. Oh, well, I have extra sleep.
play days. Today has been a very strange day because I just simply don't know how it started, how it ended, had so much things happening in just one day, but I don't know how much I filmed, how much I didn't. I mean, I forgot even what I filmed, but I'll recap on what happened today. I had a good sleep because my mum had Darren again, so obviously I expressed and I've prepared the milk for my mum to feed him. By the time we got ready and left the house, it was like past 11 o'clock. Went shopping, I brought some really, really, really nice clothes, like really good things that I'll be doing a haul on. I won't be wearing these nasty vest tops and leggings anymore. And then we had to rush off to Darren's hospital because he had to be seen regarding his breathing because he does this really strange breathing noise when he eats. And then the doctor said that it was something to do with his voice cords. Voice cords? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Baron, if I'm saying it wrong, please write it down somewhere here what that's called. So it's got nothing to do with his breathing, he said. It's got to do with something about his voice. And the doctor said that it will kind of go away as he gets a little older, about a few months older. But he is going to refer us to the ear, throat and ear, throat and nose um, specialist at Royals Hospital. And then that person will put a tube into his throat and check whether he's it's developing or it's not or something like that. He'd even give me a full explanation or full information on what the heck that was really and truly. But I did say, you know, have you seen any other child who had this? And he said that he's seen so many children have so many different things. Sorry about her, she's just changing in the background, not realizing that I'm filming. And then I had to kind of rush these guys home leave Darren, prepare his milk, and then go off to work. So, and then I went to work, private tutoring, for two hours, and then I had to come back quickly, <sighs> quickly eat, and quickly express, because he needs some milk for the night. Finally, I had some time to actually love my baby, so and then I spent some time with him. One thing that I'm having difficulties in is trying to burp him. I cannot burp him, seriously. I just can't do that. Um, yeah, so now it's 20 to 12 and Darren's asleep at my mum's room because of obvious reasons. And I'm going to go to sleep as well now. I hope I don't get bitten like millions of times on my face. And I shall see you guys tomorrow. So... Oh, tomorrow um, I've got his health visitor appointment, so they'll check his weight again, and I think he's going to have the ear, ear test or hearing test, that's it, it's one month's hearing test. Yeah, so that's about it. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I hope you have a very good night, a very good day, and a very good night. Bye!